Welcome to another episode of What the Hell, where one man's trash is another man's treasure. So the other day was garbage collection day, and I usually like to drive around the neighborhood to see what people are throwing out. And this one particular day, I was fortunate enough to, to come across this giant 60-inch Samsung plasma TV that somebody was throwing out. The glass was intact, not a scratch on the bezel, so the only problem was it, was it weighed close to probably over 50 pounds, so it was a struggle trying to load it into my car, but I managed. The TV model is PN60E7000, and it's manufactured in September 2012, and for a plasma this size that the flat screen itself is very thin it's like an inch thick only while the previous plasma TVs that I've owned is like three inches thick but this is amazingly thin I have a feeling this was a premium top-of-the-line Samsung model back in the day and if there's one thing that plasma TVs do well is that they generate deep blacks and very high contrast images almost like an OLED screen on new smartphones that we have today certainly better than LCDs in terms of image quality but the only thing that I don't like about plasma TVs is that they generate a lot of heat and this particular model consumes a typical of 143 watts and that's with the screen brightness turned down So let's power up this thing and see what we've got. Power on. We got a red light. And it's blinking and I hear clicking on the back. Sounds like a relay trying to switch on or off. Still no image and the red light is blinking and I think that's the problem and I thought I was gonna get lucky I've got the back cover removed and we can marvel at all the technology behind this I love looking at this stuff it looks amazing to me now with an LCD TV it's much simpler there's less less boards but with this plasma, there's a ton of it. Once again, I've got the TV plugged in, powered up, and there's that clicking noise. And it's on the power supply board. And it's this relay on the bottom of the board that's making all that clicking. And looking at the front, the screen is on, so the problem seems to be intermittent. So once the clicking stops, the, the screen turns on. And there's a slight, I think that's a coil whine on this board. Slight buzzing that you can only hear within 12 inches. But that's not a problem. The main problem is that power supply relay. And the relay is starting to click again. And the front screen is off.
I've taken the power supply board off and inspected it and lo and behold here's the problem on top of the board is a cracked solder joint and this is one of the leg on the rectangular blue capacitor on the reverse side right next to the heatsink this one was easy to spot you could see that the solder was dry and dull and it looks like it doesn't they didn't put enough solder and the joint just cracked from the thermal cycling the crack circles around the capacitor leg like that so here's the picture of the repair that I've done I removed all the old solder and put in some new solder and you can see it's got a nice bevel and it's nice and shiny so let's put this baby back and see what we've got all right so we got the TV put back together and we're about to just power it on so once again this is the the relay that, that makes the clicking sound okay I'm gonna power it on one click look at the front okay no red light and the screen is on So it appears to have fixed it, but we'll know in, a, in the next few days to see if, if it remains on or whether, whether it will come back. But for now, it looks like it's, it's fixed. It's trying to connect to the smart hub, but it's not connected to the internet right now or the antenna so there's no there's no video but you can see the menu there's the smart hub now the next problem I need to fix with this is the the Wi-Fi doesn't seem to work it doesn't detect my my Wi-Fi so I'm guessing the Wi-Fi module will need to be replaced right there. So that's the next thing that I need to look to look into. The Wi-Fi module. All right. Once again, thanks for watching. Until next time, see ya.